Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Possum here. Today, we're checking out a game called Craftlands Workshop. Uh, this was made by the developer behind uh, Shopkeep 1 and 2, supposedly. Let's make our character name here. We're going to be in Possum. You know, I want to be the Bumbler. We're the Bumbler today. And, uh, and yeah, we'll leave there. Let's choose how... Oh, I want to... We could be bare-chested, hairy-chested guy. You know, I'm like, I might just go with that. Oh, what is that? Some weird hair. Twin tails. I don't know about that. Uh, bowl head? I don't know about that one either. <laughs> Something about this is just hilarious. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're doing this. This is what Bumbler looks like. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. We're going to pick camera orientation. There we go. Uh, this is my second time recording this, by the way, because uh, I accidentally had my mic muted last time. So I got through the entire episode and was about to start editing, and it was like, oh, crap, there's no audio. But anyway, welcome to the world in the sky. Our story begins here. Timmy! I believe I'm in the wrong place. A bit further to the right, buddy. Right, this looks like it. Our story begins here. Darn it. Not a single key works. All craft, you're the last hope. Give yours a try. Sure, here goes nothing. All right. He's doing the key in the portal thing. It glowed brightly. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Just as I expected. What is hap... Pinning. Where do you... I'll craft you traitor! He mastered all the trades. That must be the secret. Alchemy, blacksmith, and cooking. There must be others. He knew them all. They must work together. You sorry lot are useless. Boogeyman, you are the master at finding anything. Find me someone who can master all the trades. Now! What is so important about this portal? We need to go through. I need the power that hides on the other side. All right. The boogeyman's coming for us. <laughs> Can we go get something to eat now? One day, Fridge. Uh, I call them Fridge. One day, Fridge, I will strangle you. There you go. There we go, strangling Fridge. And as you see, we're on the, uh, you know, steampunk, uh, you know, boat going to new town, as all RPG-type games do nowadays. It's all about arriving in that new town. Let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit there. There we go. So, uh, strange beginnings. Read the letter, open the door. All right. Gosh, will anyone take this letter? Sure. The Bumbler shall. Uh, bye bye Hello, Bumbler, my best apprentice. I had to leave because, well, it's none of your bees acts, if I'm honest. You have proven yourself to be a good apprentice of your trade, so I give you full access to the workshop. Not like I care. I abandoned it long ago while you were still working here. Enjoy the trash heap, Bumbler. Just a heads up, the town hall got a hump from unpaid tax or something, so they took back all the permits. That sounds like a you problem now. Oh, keep an eye on when the cust uh, customer airship arrives and leaves. Prime time to earn some money. You'll need it to get those permits back. Alright. Boogeyman will be here soon, I guess, he said as he goes running away. Let's pick up our mail over here. There we go. Hit tab to go into inventory and read our thingies here. That's This is the same letter we just read. Let's read the other one. There we go. Agreement broken to whom it may concern. Your workshop has been left abandoned for an extended period of time. Because of this, the building has incurred additional tax, which has, uh, which has gone unpaid. We have taken a decision to revoke all permits. Blah, 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 blah. Go to town hall. All right, so we're going to go to Town Hall. Before we go to Town Hall with our beautiful gray pigtails. Uh, <laughs> this, this character is just hilarious to me. I can't help it. We're going to go over here. We're going to pick up some stuff. I know that I'm going to want this stuff later. All the, all the, all the amounts of it as I can get. This is uh, iron, by the way. We're, we're mining iron. Because I've uh, accidentally recorded this a couple of times now, I know that I want this stuff. I want all of it. There we go. So let's go into town now. We have 15 iron on us. That's all we can hold. We have 15 out of 15. Our little backpack single, uh, symbol there. I would I would love it if we had more uh, space to carry stuff. 
But that's something I have not managed to uh, accrue as of yet. All right, head over here. I think up here is the town hall. I think. I hope. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, they're letting us in, so that must be it. Well, hello there! We don't seem to get many people here these days. On the account of the workshop being closed, stopping local business. I suppose you're here to reopen it? While he twiddles his thumbs vigorously. Here is a uh, shop permit and the key to the workshop. Alright, we're going to pick... Uh, even though I've done this several times now, I still have to go blacksmithing. I can't help it. I'm just, you know, a blacksmith by heart. I can't help it. I always want to do blacksmithy for Z things. You do look like somebody knows his way around it, and also here's a permit for that as well. In case you want to expand your craft of goods, uh, come get some permits. Okay. But they do cost a bit, so you should be able to gain some, but you should be able to gain some money now. Hopefully reopening, it will start driving business back to Sky Island. I believe some shops will open up as that happens. As well, if you like, uh, as well, if you like, do talk to Kiki here. She is our resident researcher. She could offer some insight on this world. Well, uh, I'm going to skip forward a little bit. I've, uh, I've talked to Kiki before and she doesn't tell us jack diddly squat that I care about. So we're going to skip that this time around. Hopefully get more stuff going on here. Uh, they want us to mine some more iron. We have more inventory space now because we have a perk from blacksmithing that makes us good at carrying lots of stuff. How exactly that it works, I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? I don't care because now we can carry more stuff and do more blacksmithy miney things, which is, you know, the most important thing for us to be doing. Come on. There you go. Let's get another one over here. There we go. We got all the ore. We're feeling a bit tired, apparently. We're all tuckered out from all that mining and running back and forth and so on and so forth. All right, so we have the iron we need for this quest. Over here, it says trade iron for nails, uh, which is this guy over here, which is actually kind of funny shop name. We'll go in here. The door is locked. The door is locked. All right, I guess we have to go open up our, uh, our workshop first. All right. If you insist, game, I shall do things the way you asked me to do them. But I'll, I'll be upset the entire time. And I'll be looking at you sideways because of it. Here we go. Can we do some farming or something? I don't know. But we have garden plots there. I like garden plots. Welcome to your workshop. Currently, it's a bit trashy. You should clean it up. All right. Well, I guess this is what we're doing. We're cleaning up garbage. That's a first order of business is we have to sit here and wave our hand around in, in circles as stuff magically gets cleaned up. Let's watch this. Let's watch our magical cleaning prowess here. Oh yeah, spinny, spin, spin. Things, maybe it's like a wax on, wax off thing. We're just like waxing everything into, uh, into submission. <laughs> All right, hopefully this is the last one. The uh, cleaning up here is a little bit tedious for how long it's gonna take here. Hopefully it's not something you have to do constantly. Uh, open up your workshop book to finalize cleaning. All right. Because cleaning's not officially done until you write it down in the book and say, yep, I cleaned. There we go. We officially cleaned. Customers are coming here and request whatever you have advertised. If you advertise consumable, uh, consumables, some will sit down to consume them. Uh, once consumed, they will leave the container behind to be reused. Goods placed here will be purchased by a customer once his request has been completed. All right. Uh, customers will stop once a request spots in your shop and ask you for goods if you advertise. Blah, blah, blah. It's literally just saying the same thing we just looked at. All right, so now, now we can do stuff. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, we have to build our anvil. We didn't build it yet. Let's go ahead and build it. We're building an anvil with our hammer and some wood and spare rocks. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how you just go ahead and make a make an anvil out of a hammer, but it's going to happen. Uh, bloody Fox Whiskers, who is banging back there? I, I don't... Bloody Fox Whiskers. I'm not quite sure how that works out. I feel bad for the fox. <laughs> Ouch, this was not here before. I'll have to get used to the new place. Wait, you smell different. Who are you? That does not matter, Mazukai. Hopefully I said that right. I don't know. 
Do you know where Allcraft is? I have no idea. I've been tasked to keep this workshop going. Ah, well, <clears throat> do you have a permit for that equipment? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Right, <clears throat> well then, I'll inform the rest of the shops that business will start moving. Some shops need the workshop to be in business after all. And you should get some initial resources from start uh, from them to start crafting. Remember, nothing happens here without my say-so. I'm allowing you to start your business here. You owe me. If you master more crafts, I might have a job for you. I'm, I'm not quite sure what happened with his voice there. <laughs> ah, not this again. Here we go. He, he turned a little weird, like kind of like a little southern, a little, I don't know what else, this weirdness. All right, some goods can be gained by mining veins or cutting down trees. Interactable resources shine when targeted and will automatically ready animation for your character. Make sure you have enough inventory space to gain resources. All right, so that's basically just going over how we were mining early, essentially. Uh, let me see here. We have to go talk to the blacksmithy duty guy, I think. Visit he who smelt it, dealt it. All right, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna visit the del the delter of smells, apparently, which is right over this way. It's the uh, door I tried to go in earlier that was locked on me, and I was like, "Huh? Why is this locked? I have to go in here." And uh, you know, it was locked because it wasn't ready yet. Apparently, there we go. He who smelt it, welcome to he who smelt it. I am the one who will deal it, J Will. If you need any anvil blueprints, ingredients, or backpacks, peruse my wares. Alright, so now we have to trade some of our ingots, which we fought so hard for, to go uh, get our nail recipe, which is right here. There we go. So now we can make uh, nails without needing a blueprint of any sort, which is good. Having to pay just to learn how to make something every single time is annoying. Obviously, we have to purchase sword blueprint, so let's go in here. I want to browse your wares, buddy. And what's he have a sale on? This is a vendor? Okay, I'm just going to keep clicking until this stuff goes away, because it, it's just boring stuff, UI stuff. All right, so they have a accessory blueprint on sale. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help me. Last time, I actually had the uh, sword blueprint that I need here on sale. Yeah, all right, well, you know, whatever. We don't have uh, any use for accessories, do we? I don't think so. Anyway, let's buy some sword blueprints. We need five for the quest. Oh, we need four for the quest. I bought five. Stuff happens. We'll just have to uh, make an extra one. It's getting late. It's like 10 o'clock at night in the game here. Let's, uh, let's see if there's any more mining we can do real quick. If not, we'll head back to bed. I can't tell if it's mineable yet or not. Oh, it is. All right, let's mine all we can mine. Mine it for all the marbles. These uh, reset when you wake up in the morning. Uh... So, you know, I like to mine them at least once before I go to bed if I can. Uh-oh, we're, we're not going to have enough space for everything. We're going to miss mining one of them. Well, you know what? I'm gonna ask, just going to have to live with it. We have 24 out of 25 uh, slots filled right now. And uh, you get four whenever it's done mining it. So we wouldn't have room to actually uh, collect what we got, unfortunately. And it doesn't just, like, go on the ground for you to pick it up later or anything like that. So, you just have to stop. Alright. We got a little bit of time. Let's see if we can knock out a sword or two. Change recipe. Close that, because it's annoying. We have to do Eastern Sword. Let's begin work. You have to do four of these. And you have to time your clicks properly, but you also can't click it too soon to each other. Oh, I ran out of energy? Focus. Energy's up here and I ran out. You get it by just sleeping for a little bit. So now we have to sleep to morning, which also saves our game, so it's not the end of the world. Kind of disappointed that I ran out of energy there. Gonna work. Alright, once more. I hope it didn't waste my materials from last time. Oh, missed it. Like I said, you have to be very careful about you know when you hit it. Uh, not just because it's in the green zone, but if you click it too soon after your last click, your click will automatically miss, even if it's in, like, the right area. I don't know why that's weird and I don't like it, but it's something I've learned. Uh, hold space to skip. Now I want to see what this weird oddball says. 
I thought I heard some crafting going on. Congratulations on making your first item. I see customers paying some good copper for this. Oh, what are you making here, buddy? A spiky thing. Each time you make something, you gain experience in that trade. This unlocks more possibilities with fellow islanders as well as new recipes. If you sell enough of an item, you'll master it. Once mastered, you can pass that knowledge on to someone else. Though I have zero, zero idea whom. So chop chop, get to it! Was that magic? I have an urge to go dig a hole. See ya! Alright. You have a weird oddball here who just likes digging holes. So my theory is that he is actually Nugget for Kindergarten. But he's not obsessed with Nuggets, so I don't know. Uh, in your UI, select the Workshop tab. Alright, here you can read up your reputation and advertise goods. You can control what goods you want customers to request. And this will allow you to plan ahead which ingredients to stock up. Make sure to close your shop when you're not around. Uh, now choose which items you would like to advertise and open the shop. Given that you advertise something and the workshop is open. Yeah, no, I'm tired of reading that. There's too much reading. I know what's happening. Basically, well, go in here, hit tab, hit this one here, and I can advertise something. Whatever I put here, the uh, customers will come in here requesting it because they, you know, I, I basically advertising say I have these things. So let's go to this. We'll do a couple swords and hopefully some nails if I have enough iron. I don't even know if I will or not. Actually, let me drop some of my stuff off here. Can I go in my thing here? Let me drop off everything I have right now. We'll go mine. And we'll see what else I can get before I open up shop. Which, uh, it's, it's already 9 in the morning, so it's a little late to open. But you know what? Stuff happens. I got stuff I want to do. I want to get my mining in. And hopefully get some, uh... A little bit more crafting stuff to do because unfortunately once you open your shop you can't craft anymore and you can't change what you're selling you just have to uh close the shop and you know wait till the next day to start doing other things that's why i'm just trying to wait a little bit get some more things done that i'm going to want to get done before the shop opens hopefully have uh, lots of merchandise to sell hopefully get lots of ore All right, we're almost done. All right, let's run back really quick. Knock out a sword or two and uh, a couple of nails. And then we'll open up shop and sell those goodies and uh, see where we are after that. Wish there was a sprint button. I mean, he runs around naturally, but there's just so much running back and forth between the same couple of places. It feels like a faster travel method would be ideal. Anyway, we got stuff going. Let's, uh, now let's hammer out a few, uh, nails. So let's change the recipe. Go to nails. And, uh, begin work. Luckily, nails only require one hammer hit. So we can knock a few of those out pretty quick. And we'll do one more. There we go. Get out of here. Click on this one. We'll put some of our nails away. Pick up our blueprints. Where's the rest of my blueprints? Oh, I already have several swords. I didn't realize I had that many swords already. Good to know. Alright, let's uh, make the last sword thing that we can make. I didn't mean to hit this. Let's get out of that. Change recipe. Eastern sword. Begin work. There we go. Get the one more sword done. There we go. Let's get out of there. We have one more sword. Yeah, we have five swords now. The rest of these... Eh, I think I'll open up shop really quick. Just before we run out of time here. So we already have these set to be sold. We'll open up workshop. There we go. And now, I like running through here because they're actually physics enabled. But they, they need some dampening though because they'll keep spinning for like ever. At least last time they did. Anyways, people just start coming in here now and they say, Hey, I want a sword. I want a nail. I want a something. This guy has a star request. And unfortunately, I don't have whatever those are. So we can't do it. Star request, if you have what they want. Despite the fact that you're not advertising it, you do get like double the money for it. Which would be great if I could make more than two things currently. But I cannot. Do I have do I not have nails on me? Let's move out of the way game. There. Let me run back over here. I didn't know I didn't have any nails on me. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Let's see what else do we have on us. We have three more swords and four more nails. It's kind of weird that they come in here buying like one nail. 
But it's what they do. Uh, I think two more swords now. And uh, when we run low, I'll probably close up. One more sword. This will be our last sword right here. Now all we have is nails. And this guy wants a pair of shears, but I can't help him, so I'm going to send him away. I don't have any more swords to give that guy, so I'm going to send him away as well. No sword for you, buddy. They're probably going to get pissed off if I keep not giving them what they want. One more nail. There we go. All right, let's close up shop before people get pissed off at me. Close the workshop. Yep, sorry guys, that's all I got. That's all I got. Let's change what we're advertising, because I'm probably not going to have swords again tomorrow. Put that on nothing. We'll probably have nails, though. Alright, so uh, we got a whole bunch of things sold. We still have to sell more stuff. I'm going to see if there's uh, like if there's any mining I can do or anything. You know, it's a, actually, let me drop off what I have first. Let me just double check, make sure I'm not carrying all sorts of crap I don't need. Uh, which I probably am. Alright, we have... Not crap, per se, just more stuff than I wanted on me. I'm going to go double check just to make sure the mines haven't magically replenished. Oh, I did not mean to go back in. Stop making me do that game. Don't you do it again. Let's go see if the, the uh, ore is replenished. Uh, I think it has, actually. It looks like it has. It looks mineable again to me. Maybe it's my imagination. Yeah, it's only mineable again. I could have swore I got this today already, but, you know, maybe it respawns multiple times a day. I don't know. It does seem to let me do it more than once a day, though. Maybe it's just every time I spawn in and out of the building. That would be nice. I could definitely, uh, you know, make that work in my favor. Alright. Last hit. Let's go back. We're gonna go... Oh, we're almost out of energy already, actually. Surprisingly enough. And we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna make a whole lot of nails. However, well, apparently 18 nails, because that's all the energy I have. So we'll make that many, and then we'll go to sleep and set up shop for tomorrow. Alright. The faster we get our nails done, the faster you can go to sleep, buddy. That's all there is to it. Let's change the uh, recipe here. We're going to change this to... Can we make cutlery? Huh? We don't need a blueprint for it, so I guess I'll make some cutlery. And what was this thing we had before? Ghost altar? Ghost contract required. I don't know what the deal with that is. I was just curious. I figured I'd try. Anyway, let's see if we can make some cutlery. We'll add that to the uh, list of things we just happen to have, I guess. And I don't need too many of them. I might just leave it, like... Uh, just, like, have a few on hand just in case they request it, even though I'm not making any. All right, let's put that away. Click here, open container, put the cutlery uh, away. Like I said, I'm not wanting, wanting those. Oh my god, don't close on me, buddy. Open back up. Let's get some of these back over here. Make a whole bunch of nails. Uh, change recipe. Nails. We're just going to go crazy on nails now. Until I can't make... Oh my god, we ran out of energy so quick on that one. That was so quick. Let's go to bed. We'll make some nails in the morning before we uh, set up shop. Shouldn't be too bad. Come on. Get working. Got some nails to hammer out. Eh, we got nails to hammer. Funny. Oh, we leveled up something. See, there I hit it right, but unfortunately it was just too quick. You can't hammer too quick. That's just all there is to it. They get mad at you. I'm going to hammer out as many nails as they let me, actually. Or as many as I can, as I can stand... Do I have any more stuff? I don't know why it actually stopped me from making nails there. Backpack won't fit. Oh, you know what? I have to clean this. That's what it was. Sometimes it's like your work area gets dirty and they make you clean it up before you can continue. Uh, yeah. Oh, made me miss again. Alright, let's get these nails out. It's hammer time. I like busting that one out. All right, we got a couple more done. Required item. Okay, we ran out of stuff. Be honest with you, I feel like making nails for all eternity. You probably don't want to watch me make nails for all eternity. Let's uh, let's ma actually knock out a couple of uh, these cutlery things. These here, and uh, we'll put those on sale with the nails, and we'll get things going. Oops, I don't want to be in there. We're gonna change pattern here. Can I? 
Do you just gonna force me to make one or what? I wanna change the recipe, there we go. It wouldn't let me change it, I don't know why. Anyway, we're gonna go back and do some more cutlery. You see, it doesn't cost me any, uh, I just gonna call it blueprints, which is why I'm interested in doing it. We can also do iron pans as well, apparently. We just don't have the wood for it. So that's something to consider going forward. Now let's begin work. Cutlery ought to be okay. Get a few more of these. Get some good sales days going. Anything I don't have to buy blueprints for is good in my book. You know, it's just so expensive when you have to go out there and uh, you're only getting, you know, some of the money back because you're using blueprints on it. All right. Are we done now? How much more iron do we have left? Can't be much, right? We leveled up. Something or another. It might just be our blacksmithing skill. Our raw blacksmithing prowess. All right, I think that's enough. I don't care what we have on us. I only have three more pieces of iron anyway. Let's put the iron away. We'll pick up all the nails we can at the moment. Oh my god, it's not letting me do things I want. All right, I think my bag's actually totally full. All right, let's go in here. We're going to set up our supply for the day. We're selling nails and cutlery. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and open up shop, actually. Open workshop. There we go. I think I can put one of these things here. Yeah, I can put uh, there. Have a nail there. Unfortunately, I can only literally only put one of them there. It's kind of silly. You got cutlery. There you go, buddy. You want cutlery, too. And you want that? All right, there. All right. For some reason, they, they, they were okay with taking it from that, and it got me more sales somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that. All right, you take that, and you take that. There you go. Are you going to want that, buddy? I'll replace it for you. He did want it. He took it. He's, he paid less for it, though. I don't know about that. I don't like it when people pay less for stuff. Let's put a cutlery thing there. There we go. Maybe we'll pay more for that one. All right, get you guys all figured out. How much are you going to pay for that? Yeah, he's, he's paying less for it. I don't think it's worth it to do that. Especially when I can just stand here and give it to him. I'd rather just make the money myself. Oh, I don't have whatever that is, buddy. I'm sorry. You have to go away with that stuff. How much stuff do we have on us? Four and five. We're still good. Let me see if I can grab more of this stuff before more people come in here. All right, we, we still got room. Cutlery, cutlery. Get rid of you guys. Open this back up. I accidentally grabbed that, and I didn't want to. Get more cutlery. There we go. We should have everything we have. Oh, you want a sword? I can't help you there, buddy. We do have nails, so I can help you there. We're actually running low on cutlery here. They're going, uh, they've been going kind of crazy on it. We're making decent money, though. Hopefully we can actually buy a backpack soon, because this uh, inventory problem has been kind of a pain in the butt. We're running out of energy already. I guess selling things is wearing us out. How close are we? Two more cutlery we have? Is this just like getting late? I think it's just getting late. How long do these guys keep coming? It seems kind of crazy. You mastered cutlery. You can now produce something or another. I couldn't read it. All right. All right, we don't have any more cutlery. I'm going to have to turn them away for that. Uh, I wonder if they get pissed off if I turn them away. I'm not entirely sure. All we have left is nails, but all they want is cutlery. I'm going to close up shop for today because I don't want to piss them off. I feel like they're uh, coming for cutlery and they are not getting it. Let me put this stuff away real quick. There we go. That way we're not carrying extra stuff. All right, we got knock, knock, knocking on the door over here. So let's see what that's all about. He's trying to sell me stuff. Uh, is anyone there? Yes, hello, I'm Otto No, the work foreman. That scared me. Well, boo hoo. Why is this door closed? The workshop is abandoned. I'm trying to uh, revive it. Abandoned? I never realized if I've been hard at work down there in this basement. Hurry up. Look, there's this weirdo who dug through the wall here. He's trying to sell me stuff, and it's freaking me out. Uh, I would open it up, but I need a worker permit for this. Here, take this and get in here. 
All right, it seems we have a worker permit. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's go ahead and save for the night. Yeah, you can save by just coming in here. You sleep for the night and it automatically saves. There we go. We're all set. And I think this is a good place to end it. Let's go ahead and quit the main menu here. This game is called Craftlands Workshop. If you guys are interested, I will link down in the description. It is actually coming out in a couple days. It'll be out really soon. So, uh, you know, give it a shot if you're into this kind of stuff. You guys are new here. Uh, this is what I do. I play indie, uh, indie games every single day on the internet for your enjoyment. To be honest with you, this game is a little bit outside of my scope. I tend to play base building automation games, vehicle engineering games, and tower defense games. And, uh, you know, this one's more of this, like, in a crafting RPG type of game. But that's okay. It's still fun. I had fun. Hopefully you guys had fun watching it. So if you guys are into this kind of stuff, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when I put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.